next chapter the fight begins the big battle against alderaan is going to take place and uh in the, you know in the last chapter in 51 it was you know saving the white witch getting out of there and setting up to fight alderaan and then getting to just a flex of alderaan's power so from that we now should be nothing in the way nothing left in the way for the fairy tale team to end up trying to combat alderaan and i say trying to because i still uh, believe that they're gonna have to retreat uh from him they're gonna have to try and get away and uh it'll be a fight for another day so all of that involved we have to keep in mind exactly how we'll go down to lead to that so I mean, really, at the beginning of it, we'll probably get, you know, some some nice panels of, of making it look like they're doing effort, some, probably some good teamwork shots. Maybe we'll, the characters will all have gotten enough magic back. We could do see, like, a cool combo of, uh, you know, like, Star Dress, Gray puts on his, uh, his demon marks, and, uh, you know, Natsu goes Dragon Force. I had everything in there that it's like, oh, yeah, they're all popping there. They're big things. They're all ready to do this. And it, it's one of those like build up action hype scenes, but then it's like, hey, we're not doing anything. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Cause I, I don't see them really taking down Alderaan. I mean, not only is he powerful, but his sheer size is very damaging. We haven't seen yet a display of his whole ability to read like minds and hearts, but just on like the fact of his, the, like the volume of his voice can cause such like pain and like uh, pressure on people. Like he's he's just too much in size in general to for for really to to be an opponent right now. Like when we see Natsu in the future when he's uh you know about that dragon god stage later when he we see like he's gonna be able to go up against Ignia. Like that version of Natsu, I could see him like landing a big punch or a kick on Alderon and like knocking him over. It'd be like, yeah, Alderon is gigantic, but it's believable when we know he's at this power stage. He's not there yet. We, we don't know how long it'll be until Natsu gets, you know, some form of next kind of like increase in stage. I still theorize that they're going to end up uh, teaming up with Diablos because I don't I don't think they're enemies. I still think that they're just antagonists from uh, their perspective. And then once they actually get to know them, they're not evil. But uh, we'll see in that matter. But uh, up until that point now... The, the question is, how will the fight go with Alderaan, like I said? It's, I think it's gonna get really pressured by them. I think we're gonna start to see a little bit of that climb moment next chapter, and then near the end when it's like, oh, did we do damage? It's gonna be like, okay, no, no, now Alderaan is gonna answer back. And after that point, after that point, I think it's gonna get the, get to that, okay, we need to get out of here, flee, and recover for a different kind of uh, fight kind of day. Maybe move on to Selene or Viernes. So this whole uh, this whole next chapter, I can really just see like a big team up, really just kind of getting uh, getting everybody back together, getting everyone all in one spot and figuring out what they need to do, because that each time Alderaan does anything, his flex is still pretty intensive. So before he realizes that they're there, they need to at least kind of like have a game plan going. But anyway, other than that, uh, I really appreciate if you would comment below, tell me your thoughts are about my theory of what's going to come up and uh, how the next 100 years chapter it will go from your perspective. But uh, also, if you would befriend the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos, I would really appreciate that as well. But uh, other than that, I think everyone's already subscribed. Bye.